Being a parent of two special needs children means you learn a lot of things very quickly. You learn to speak in acronyms such as OT, PCA, TEFRA, and IEP. You become an expert in filling out paperwork. You learn what it really means to improvise, to have a sense of humor, and to have perspective. And you learn about the miraculous work of organizations like Fraser. Our family was first introduced to Fraser in 2007. That spring, an early childhood teacher expressed concerns about my son Mason's development. And so we had the school district's early intervention team come to our home to observe him. The thing I remember most from that meeting was hearing those well-meaning teachers say the words autism spectrum disorder, and then they took off for summer vacation. I was shocked. Mason was not even three at the time, and although he was a little quirky and challenging, he didn't fit what my perception of autism was. I later learned that autism is one of the most misunderstood as well as the fastest growing developmental disability in the United States. And that each person with autism is as individual as a fingerprint. But at the time, I was shocked and angry. I didn't want to believe that Mason had anything. But at the same time, his challenges and unique needs were becoming more apparent. I was bombarded with information and advice which only made me feel more helpless. There is nothing like that powerless feeling of knowing that your child has certain needs and not having a clue on how to meet them. After a few very challenging months, I spoke with Mason's pediatrician and she referred us to Fraser. I will never forget that first phone call. It was like stepping out of a dark forest and onto a lighted path. Fraser said there was a six month waiting list to get Mason in for an official evaluation. That's how great the need was. However, while we waited, Fraser scheduled consultations for me to meet with a speech clinician, a visual learning specialist, a feeding specialist, and an occupational therapist. These specialists met with me individually, heard all about Mason, and gave me real suggestions and resources to help him specifically. Then in the winter of 2008, Mason was diagnosed with PDD-NOS, a mild part of the autism spectrum. The evaluation and diagnosis took an in-depth look at all aspects of Mason's development, and Fraser helped us interpret the results and design a plan that would nourish Mason's strengths as well as addressing his special needs. The practitioners at Fraser knew that I was an expert of my child while they were the experts in autism. This knowledge empowered me more than anything had before. And that empowerment over autism was something I desperately needed when a few years later, our youngest son, Gabe, was also diagnosed. It is easy to feel sometimes like our family doesn't quite have a place in the community. Sometimes it's sensory overload, sometimes it's interesting social interactions, or sometimes it's physical delay. But no matter what the reason, every single day, my boys have to go out there and adjust to the world. But at Fraser, they adjust to them. Mason and Gabe are always comfortable at Fraser, and that speaks volumes. Now Mason is seven and Gabe is five. Mason graduated from Fraser's autism day treatment program a few years ago. He is currently in second grade and just got 100% on his spelling test. <laughs> Thank you. He still receives occupational therapy services at Fraser and Anoka to help him with his sensory regulation needs and um, coping techniques, but he's really doing great. Mason's passion is rocks and gemstones, and if he were here tonight, he would grab one of your hands, inspect your diamond, <laughs> notify you of the cut, and then ask how many carrots it is. 
Gabe just had his fifth birthday party last week, full of friends from preschool and Fraser. He has been receiving services there since he was two years old and is now the big man on campus. However, when Gabe first started, he was so timid of anything new and was so sensory sensitive that he wouldn't even try out a swing. He was two years old and had never swung on a swing before. I will never forget visiting Fraser one day and looking through the one-way mirror into an occupational therapy room and seeing Gabe swing on the swing so high his feet practically touched the ceiling, grinning hugely and belly laughing the entire time. Fraser has helped him be a happy, healthy, curious, and adventurous little boy. I know that Gabe and Mason are truly loved by all the staff and teachers at Fraser. Despite the challenges that autism brings, I know our lives are a blessing. My boys make people stop and think about what is really important. My boys prove naysayers wrong every day. They are my heroes. My heart overflows with gratitude for this organization that has given my children so much. And for all of you here tonight who so generously support the miracles Frazier works every day. Out of all the things I have learned as a parent of two children with special needs, the greatest lesson is this, that my children have limitless potential. Frazier's motto is special needs, bright futures. And I know it takes the loving and knowledgeable support of others like those at Fraser to not only make my children's future bright, but to make the path to get there bright as well. Thank you.